YouTube, man. What's up? It's Sensational j -Roll. In this video, I'll be telling y'all how to get dreadlocks. Let's go. Listen up, big ears, Dumbo. Elephant stepping, we ain't humble. Beat it up like the Royal Rumble. Designer clothes sitting on my skin. Foreign coop, but the window's in. Butterfly doors and let you in. Last car, take it for a spin. Before I start anything, I want to shout out to all of my subscribers that have been showing support. They've been liking the videos, commenting, and everything, man. So salute to y'all. I appreciate y'all a lot because y'all helping the channel to grow. So, now, if you're a person who just now starting dreadlocks, or, I mean, you having the idea in your head that you want dreadlocks, the first thing you need to do is find a loctician. Now, I looked up because I went through someone... It's kind of like family that, you know, she was a skilled hairstylist. So she ended up um, doing my dreadlocks. And I'm going to tell you this, before these dreadlocks, I had like some a whole nother set of dreadlocks. And, bro, they were so ugly. Like I went to, I got them done because I went to like this African shop. And I said this before on I said this before on my channel, man, but some of my dreadlocks was thick. Some of them was skinny, but it just was all messed up. But so, man, shout out to the lady who who uh, fixed my dreads and got me right. But back to the story, man. I'm going to tell you all this. You want to find a lock. I mean, a loctician. You want to find somebody who good. When you go to them, you got to explain to them what exactly do you want. You know what I'm saying? You want thick dreads, you want skinny dreads, you know, or or what. But before she even get into all that, she has to see the length of your hair. Your hair has to be of a certain length in order for the twist to stay in there. You know what I'm saying? So you want to make sure that your hair is long enough. You know what I'm saying? So do, you know, be patient. If you got a low haircut right now, man, just be patient, man. Your hair going to grow. Don't worry yourself to death. Don't be looking in the mirror 24-7. <laughs> My hair grow. Don't be, don't, don't do that, man. Just let your hair do what it's gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Um, so you wanna do that. You wanna find out if your hair long enough, and then you wanna explain to her what type of, you know, dreadlocks you you want. You know, do you want wicks? You know, you want the real small ones, you want, you know, whatever the size may be, whatever your preference may be, you need to tell her that. And then you get your dreads, man. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you this. Well, your twist. But I'm, I'm going to tell you this. It's a lot. It's a lot that goes on in that process in order for you to even have dreadlocks. Because once you get those twists in your head, once you do that, then you're going to have to maintain, bro. You're going to have to wear them, them do-rags over your head to flatten it up, to flatten your hair up, to make it nap up. You know what I'm saying? To compress it at night. You're going to have to do all that. You're going to have to avoid washing your hair. Because if you wash your hair and you just got twists, then it ain't going to do nothing but make your, your little dread, you know, it ain't going to do nothing but make your twists unravel. So now you, you got hair hanging out and you got to, you got to retwist that again. So, so once you go to the shop, yeah, I'm pretty, she's going to. Wash it. She gonna wash and shampoo your hair. You know what I'm saying? Twist and bro, I hate this. I, I hate this because this what happened with my first dress. The ones that I, that I said were just so ugly. The lady was twisting my hair with gel, with gel, bro. It's like in that black. That it's like a black container with like a white top. She was twisting it with that man. So, and then when she when she dried it, like blow dried it, it was crazy because. My hair, it was like, my twist was like stiff, like crunchy. Like, <laughs> I can't, I can't make this up, y'all. But you want to find out what she going to use on your hair or find out what you prefer that she twist, that your loctician, you know, twist your hair with. I would prefer Jamaican mango and lime products. I wouldn't prefer the gel because, I mean, well, I guess the gel cool. But I would prefer more so of the wax. But I guess to start off your locks, your twist, you want to just, you know, it's cool if you use the gel. But find out what type of product you use, man. That's just my preference. I just say use that, you know. So um, it's a lot of starting dreadlocks off in the beginning. It's aftercare, you know. Like I was just saying, man, how you, you know, even though you want to be, you shouldn't 
wash your hair for like weeks or months because you want to help the locking process, you still want to moisturize your hair. You know what I'm saying? You still want to. Man, I got matter of fact, man, I got I got um the Jamaican mango and lock spray. I still got that. You want you want to just make sure you still feeding your hair, you know, because you know it be hot outside and the 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 uh, rays and all that heat is is bad for your hair, especially when it's dry. So you you still want to make sure you do that, you know what I'm saying? And just just overall, man, just make sure that you're not just monitoring your hair, bro. Just don't monitor it. Just let it do what it's going to do. It's going to lock up. But that's one thing about it. When you don't comb your hair and you're not doing, you know, the what what natural society says you should do about your hair and picking your hair, then it's going to nap up, especially if you got coarse hair. Now, it, it all depends on what type of hair texture you have also because different people uh, get different outcomes. You know, so if you're somebody... Who, who has a lot of, you know, curlier hair on the real curly side or the straight side, then, you know, it's going to take a long time for your dress to lock up versus someone who has, who hair is more coarse and, you know, um, curlier or real kinky, you know. So, um, too, it, it, it all depends. It all depends on what type of hair you have. So, that plays a factor in the locking process. Um, um, also, I would say... You know, I mean, when people get into the habit of doing this. I mean, it's been so long. I know I used to do this. But, when you know, you don't want to over-retwist your hair. You know, once you get your dress and you start your locking dread, your locking process or whatever, you don't want to over, over-twist it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're somebody who already has small dreads, skinny dreads already, you don't want to overdo it. Because if you over-twist uh, a skinny dread already you ain't gonna do nothing but damage it in the long run and eventually that dread lock will break off you know it'll get thin and thin and you know so you don't want that to happen but um that's really up for debates too because it's like this this dread lock thing is something else bro but it's really up for debates too because some people believe that uh the mature your dread locks get the thicker they get they believe that too but I, I guess, man, like, I don't know, my dreadlocks have always been skinny, so that's just my preference. But, yeah, so a lot of this may just be a lot of aftercare, man. Y'all just figure out who you want to do your dreadlocks, man, you know, where you want it done at, you know, what type of products you want them to use on your hair, and uh, just maintain it, man. Spray it, you know what I'm saying? You can play with it. Now, now, this is cool. Now, I'm going to tell you this. This is cool. I always say this, man. A lot of people be saying, man, how, how do you how you get longer hair? How you get long dreads or whatever? Stimulate your hair, man. Sometimes just rub your hair, man. Just rub your hair. You ain't doing nothing else, bro. Just stimulate your hair, bro. You know what I'm saying? Massaging it, man. You know what I'm saying? That's equivalent to lifting weights. You know what I'm saying? You're working the muscle. You know what I'm saying? So, when you, sh- when you massaging your hair, you ain't doing nothing but getting the blood flowing. You know what I'm saying? You getting them pores open and stuff like that. So that's what you should do. So that's cool to do in the beginning. Yes. And I'm going to tell y'all, for, for, for all the newcomers and guys who just now trying to start y'all dreads, man, don't be out here trying to, you know, compare your hair, you know, looking at somebody else who got longer dreads and just feeling like, damn. Man. Well, maybe I shouldn't start, man, because my hair not long as his. You can't, you can't do that because this man had to go through the same journey that you going through now. You know, so it's a journey. You're not gonna wake up overnight, and your your dreadlocks gonna be super long. It just don't happen like that. That's just, that's why this game is a game of patience. You know. Like I said, man, like once I stopped monitoring my the length of my hair, then my hair really just took off. I didn't care anymore. I just was like, all right, man, it is what it is, man. There's no sense in me just trying to do this and do that. You know, hey, but it's cool in the beginning, man. You know, it's exciting when you first start your hair off. Uh, I mean, even, you know, t- you know, even in your mature stage, it'd be exciting for people. Um, but I'm just saying, like, just... Take it for what it is. Don't compare your hair to somebody else's lock, lock journey because they had to go through the same stage that you're just now journeying. I mean, you're just now, well, you're yeah, journeying. You're just now going through. So that's cool, y'all. 
and just have fun with it, man. Just watch videos, man, and, you know, learn as much as you can about dreads and it just with anything you need to know, bro, because it's a million things you can talk about and learn about dread loss, man. So, y'all yeah, have fun. You know, do your thing, man. So, yes. So, if you just not finna start your dread loss off, man, have fun in this game. Salute, man. And shout out to everybody who got dread loss already, whether they long, whether they short, whether they 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 fat. You know, small, I don't know, man. Shout out to everybody, man. We all family, man. So, you already know who it is. Sensational. J-Roll.